What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am here today to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off happened last time, uh, we destroyed the the Westphalians at Cologne and we also destroyed the French at Strasbourg and we also destroyed or further attacked this Polish army in Zagreb. Ah, oh, and we also took Munich. I think I might, I think I might be blurring the last few parts all together. <laughs> Um, either way, we're making some good offensive moves in addition to readying ourselves to attack Britain. So we're recruiting some decent troops. Swiss pikemen, Swiss line infantry, Swiss grenadiers. They're recruiting any of their own troops. Oh yeah, some Irish volunteers. They're going to be awfully sore when I invade. Anyway, we've run out of money, we've done everything we can, so let's hit end turn. So we need to take Britain fairly quickly before um, the colonies can gear up and do a lot of nuisance. Be, it would be much of a nuisance. But the Poles are falling back in disarray. Because they do not know that they are doomed. Ooh, another lovely defence of Zagreb. Someone pointed out that Zagreb is my new Vienna. Yes. Yes, it is, seemingly. Um, but we're fully replenished, so let's do it. Let's draw Polish troops in the cauldron that is Zagreb, which is already well watered with Poland. They can't see. That's, that's what I'm witnessing. That's what I'm seeing. I'll see for my, when I say for my break, I mean I'm, I'm my break home. I'm not stopping doing this, I'm just going home for a bit. Um, okay. Ooh, yes, please. So, our howitzers are going to deploy. One here, one here. How in our guns might deploy here. in little defences. Perfect. So let's start to garrison the walls. Just to make sure we don't have any people spill around the flank. I mean it's at 66% so I might not garrison that section of the wall. What about you? You're 37. Just need to keep an eye on you. We have a metric crap ton of troops left. Um, citizenry can't do anything, so just stay in the command HQ. So that was... You, you go there. And you go... Well, first let's try. This just isn't fair. Look how many spikes. And then we've still got enough troops back here to deploy our barricades and things like that. So you only find a barricade. Oh, you need a militia. I'm so keen on you being down here. You get up here instead. And you can probably come down here as well. It's a bit of a reinforcement. We've got two units here. Ready to rock and roll. To be honest, these guys may end up just standing back here. Halt fire up. Put a unit of foot here. Let's put a unit of foot inside this building. Let's put a unit of foot inside this building. Let's put 
these guys are my reinforcements. No, actually, don't go into that building. That'll kill everyone. Well, not kill everyone, but, you know, there'll be lots of shooting to the backs of people. And there's no one small enough to occupy this building. Canister shot. Peter de fire. So we've got some reinforcing armies coming in from over there, actually. So let's do a bit of a shuffle. Just to make sure there's no... Actually, to be honest, these guys can both do that. And one unit of line of infantry could remain in that. Oh, god damn! Go get your general. Try to fight them, but desperately try to get inside. You can fire a wolf quick line, as can you. Good. Run! Run inside! I'm fascinated to watch all these cavalry units just die on these spikes. Because <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. There go. You change formation. Now for Ah, okay. These guys may end up just... Just keep dropping it. It would have been nice to have... I should have deployed this a bit further back here. Right? I wanted to have a bit, of, a bit of sight to look this way. If I had them deployed here, they might hit the armoury. Come on, cavalry. In you come. You have some artillery back here. One twelve pounder. And I'm curious if they even be able to reach. You know, they can just about plink holes down here. So, now they may be working on alternative way in. Pull this unit off the wall. But I still want to see most of this cavalry try charging through here. Wherever you look, what will you look? How's cavalry going to have any sort of freedom to maneuver here? And these are horse guards as well. These aren't chaff, these are expensive cavalry. somewhat defeat my dust be plan if we make a breach here but I think if it makes a little corner like this then cavalry still doesn't have don't have a free reign to get in unless they very much are trying to find another way in there. Attack 
ground. So pick him some more Polish cavalry. Lances and the regulars. No, that's not, no, that's someone trying to shoot at this wall. Right, okay. Whoa, okay. He goes fight all off. Close for this guy to drop quick climb onto the breach. Ah, oh, good cavalry sprinting in. That's such high dreams. Even when we turn off the flanks, try charging them off. You go. So I think my plan here is actually a bit poor. So I might do something like that. Because these guys aren't actually shooting at people coming into the breach. I want to shuffle you guys back a bit. Cavalry. There you go, so they brought the section of the wall down. But if this piece stays where it is. Yeah, so the cavalry should still. We should still get most of them. Who are they shooting at? Okay, now they're shooting at the centre. Which is good. It's indestructible. Here comes more Polish cavalry and Eastern European mercenaries. More cavalry. God damn. You guys aren't even firing. If I had some disposable cavalry, I'd probably run out and try to kill that unit. But I wouldn't want to do it with my general. Look at all these cavalry running for the hills. In comes more men to the slaughter. Send more cavalry, please. They're so delicious. These are some of the first guys that's bouncing through the new breach. Already routing. Ooh, these guys may have to try to go a different direction. I don't know, they're going to try to grapple the grapple act. This should make sense. It would make sense because it would open up a gate. Technically, there is no traps here. But what I suspect will happen is the Marines will throw the irons and they will charge in.
Yep, there we go. Marines and fusiliers attack. A very elite swarming of the breach. We've already lost 70, 80 men. Shuffling forward into combat. The Marines have broken. Engage them with fusiliers in melee. Because they are fusiliers. They aren't that good in melee. They're not as good as regular light infantry anyway. Whoever made it in there is currently fighting alone. His comrades are outside. Needs routing. Lots of routing. Grenadier guards are in. Unit of fusiliers is coming in. Not on two times speed. Quick climb comes in, got a lot of kills. Grenadiers are routing. Eastern, Eastern European mercenaries are routing. Can't blame them because they've already been in the breach before. They already know what it's like. this. 39th Regiment of Fusiliers, 1st Grenadier Regiment, Grenadier Guards, this next as well. Look at them charging in so bravely. Oh, they've slowed down so much, that's really tight. Grenadiers have charged in here as well. Not many Grenadiers are broken. Here come some new swines. 35th. They've mounted. First white footer in. I don't think I'm enough to. So they've been knocked back. Oh god damn, I pulled the wire out of my own headphones. There we go. So another unit's charged in. Second Grenadier Regiment. Oh god. left. There's still lots of... Well, I say who's left. There's still loads of troops coming. Because they've broken. I think, I think this strategy might have changed. This is. Whatever units I put here get put through absolute ring. I think we're only 18 minutes in to the battle and it's like who's going to run out first? Are they going to run out of troops or is the timer going to run out? I want to say they run out of troops but you know... There we go. Everyone's... <laughs> the 29th foot guard just got pounded up absolutely everything.
Yeah, let's get, let's just get my howitzers firing quickly and fire on anyone they please. Doesn't matter if they destroy the armory, there's no one in there. It looks like some of them are actually, they're pulling back to reorganise. They're all like getting up on top of the hill. And we also have new reinforcements coming in from this far corner. Also gets the AI and army fragments, you got some dragoons, you got some war bands. With a round shot, can they hit No, it runs out there. Okay. Oh. So the artillery's managed to annihilate a whole unit of infantry by itself which I'm probably going to leave my guys there also picking at my guards although I suspect that's also them To be honest, I don't think they know what they're going to do. They're plinking at me with artillery because that's all they've got. Okay, so let's take you guys and just get you out of the way. Just, just leave. Ten men. Ten very experienced men. But still just ten men. Looks like we've got some expat infantry that might try sneak around the rear. But as soon as you get within range, our boys are going to get you. They've been firing their cannons already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording here um, because I have a... Oh, no. I was about to say cut the recording here because I have a suspicion they're not actually going to do anything different. But it looks like Dosh Garnum, Gosh Garnum, they actually tried to assault a different section of wall. I mean, they lost 70-odd men, but, you know, that's beside the point. Yeah, they're trying it on again now. Some light horse, conscripts, garrison guards... Dragoons, some more dragoons. They're combining with the leftovers of these infantry. Nope, oh, no, they're not. They're all going back to their mountaintop retreat. Even the expat infantry aren't having another go. Okay, let's put my engineers on this section of the wall because I don't want them to blow a hole here. I want them to keep. If they're gonna, if they have to shoot at something, what you guys will just get them off the wall completely. If they have to shoot at something, I want it to be a piece of wall that's indestructible. Although, to be honest, I could probably get them with my general map. Seventh Regiment of Militia. Nope. They came in. Not enough. Let's see if I can run out, kill that unit of artillery. And then come back. So they have one unit of howitzers, but they're the other side of the map for me. They're up somewhere up here in the cluster. I think our general won't actually do it. Just gotta be careful of any reinforcements that pop up here. Nope, there are no reinforcements. Good stuff. I 
sure that's where this regiment of lines trying to go. Yeah, I think they're all just being a bit weird. They don't really know how they want to get in. So they're just... What, they're just wandering around at this point. Which is why leaving my guys on to fire quick climb at will, at least, will... ...do some damage. So they're going to try climbing the wall? Nope, they aren't. Oh, they are delightfully innovative fellows. But the garrison guards got smashed. Got a warband going around the flank. But you have late marines. Um, oh, the warband's still trying to go on the flank. Garrison guards are trying to get back in. It's going to go about as well for the second time round as it did the first. Yeah, broken. So the warband that's tried to go on the flank is just getting... Oh, it should be getting pulverised by muskets, not just cannons. There we go. Yeah, don't think the AI really knows what it wants to do, so I might just play it constantly at triple speed, because then it should, rather than being 19, 18 minutes, it should be close to 6. Oh god. There we go. Unless they run out of... Unless they run out of infantry. Oh, the warband are plinking at me, and we're plinking back at them. Granted with only armed um, citizenry, so it's going to take ages. 18 foot guards. Got chewed out. To be honest, I think. You might, get, might be getting to the point where they've not actually got any real units on the field. So in comes the 66th, marching stoically ahead. Only to, 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 they're coming in one way and they're going out the other. And who's that? It's direct an irregular unit, which all oh, irregular guerrillas which already have famously high morale. Yeah, no. So they do have Oh no, that's a whole bucket load of troops. Um Okay guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording here and then just fast forward to the end because this is really weird. I don't want to go out and attack them and there's not really a whole lot going on here anyway. So, see you in a sec guys. Right here guys, they kept coming on in dribs and drabs. Um, nothing you haven't seen before, or like the rest of the video. And the battle is over. That was not close. No way in hell was that close. We slaughtered them. We lost, well, it's not as many kills as we'd like. To be honest, I suppose the problem is most of the units were out before they're fully destroyed. Um, so there's only so much we can do. But damn, 3,000 kills. That's like a the equivalent of a full stack. Just gone. Poof. Poland are starting to, breed, to to crawl. Eastward again, we've already fought you before in this fight, so we're going to auto-resolve and just send them back again. <laughs> longer, longer to plan out from my perspective, and the battles become bigger and more important. The New Spain's declared war on me, who would have thought it? Let's call our allies in. Yeah, it's... who would have thought that, you know, owning their capital and being at war with them before, would eventually come back to bite me in the backside. Who knew? Which gives us a good opportunity to clear out the re Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders Yeah, they're not rioting anymore. You so what did they break? They brought the place that gives the they rift. broke the place that gives them jobs. So let's go up to here. See if we can entice this Polo stack to attack Nuremberg Sir. and draw them into a bridge battle. 
upgrade the military buildings in in Munich. And let's probably build some walls just for safety. Upgrade the walls. Take Mr. Dalton's army and upgrade it or replenish it. In the army of Zagreb and replenish it and probably build a unit of this unit of line infantry can just fill in the gap. Ready and waiting for. Upgrade the naval college, upgrade you to a commercial port. You're still replenishing, you're still replenishing, you're in good nick, and the army to invade Britain has started to be formed with Colin Metcalf. It's going to take a few turns for it all to fall into place, but I think it's going to be good in the end. There's two marines, let's get two engineers, and a light infantry unit. Actually, no, for a single individual unit at the end, let's get some... Let's get a Hussar. Sweet! But, looking at the timer, uh, actually, on first day, I'm going to replenish these things, which I remember are broken. Looking at the timer, I believe... Oh, I believe it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for more of the slugfest that is Central Europe in my 13 Colonies campaign. Cheers, everyone.